So for today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So if you guys know my current content, you guys will know that after we do the review and the shader videos for an armor set, which this one, we're going to be doing the phenotype plasticity. Both of them are right here. We've already done the review and the shadering. Now, traditionally, I would be going on to the hunter video, which I would be using the sets from the phenotype plasticity, the pieces from that armor, and then making individual sets from that. Unfortunately, because this armor set is so targeted to Vex, I decided to make the precursor to a series that I've been wanting to make, which is a like the like a thematic video. So, for example, uh, a perfect example, and I was working on this one for a while, was I was working on a how to like how to make a theme or how to make a hive theme set video. And from that one, I ended up showing you all of the armor sets that we have that are currently hive themed or hive adjacent, and then make an example set at the end for that. So we're, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be showing you all of the stuff that I have in my collections that would be good for a hive or a specifically for a Vex themed uh, hunter or Titan or warlock. And then at the end, I'll show you the example set that I made with those pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. Let me know what you guys think about this, because again, this might be the precursor to the actual thematic videos that I've been wanting to do, where we look at like how to do a cabal theme, the fallen theme, and basically all the enemies of humanity. And then we can branch out into other things like, for example, tactical sets, um, nightly sets, fantasy sets, like. I could really branch out a lot from those. So if this one does really well, then I think I will start working on those videos as well, which also would be helpful because then it just gives me more content to go through. So again, hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to my current content, because I do think my channel is worth it considering I post a lot and I just, yeah, I really do. So let me know what you guys think. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the hunters. Now I say hunters, but more specifically, if an armor set that is actually beneficial for all the classes, then I'm definitely just going to have all three of the armor sets going on. Or am I just, we'll see again, like I said, this is a precursor. I did not plan. This is all on the fly. So if you guys have some suggestions, let me know in the comments below, but to start off, let's actually go to the, some of the universal ornaments, because I do think the Omega Mechanos for all of the classes is going to be a dub for uh vex theme sets now unfortunately i don't have this armor set because uh i wasn't playing in curse of osiris specifically on pc so that's why i don't have these armor sets i might pick them up in the future or probably in this video we'll see i don't know how i feel about it but this is going to be the de best pieces for all the classes specifically i'll show you guys the best pieces for each class i think the helmet is going to be really cool for the warlocks just because this is literally a helmet that world that the vex already have just a little bit different obviously but i definitely think this is going to be way cool but then we also have let me go back down we also have like the bond which is pretty interesting and i definitely think this is a cool bond but if you already have the phenotype plasticity or you're going to get it then use the phenotype plasticity one it's way better for the titans i think i'm going to be real the helmet's pretty cool from this set um yeah i just like the helmet a lot that being said it is a reskin of another helmet in the game but i still think this one is really cool but other than that, I think that chest piece might be the other good one. Uh, depending on if it's like a really bulky chest piece for males, it looks kind of bulky. But yeah, I would probably say this one would be the best one. And then for hunters, I think it's the, the arms. I think the arms are going to be the best choice because you definitely don't want to use a helmet because that's the helmet you want to be using. But actually, this kind of look kind of good with the, with the set that I have currently. Interesting. But other than that, maybe the cloak. Maybe the cloak is going to be the other best option maybe but as for the other pieces we're gonna go for where are you let me see we're just gonna go through the, okay so for hunters eternal vengeance set's gonna be the best one for you guys just because that's what the that's currently what i'm using for the chest piece and the arms not arms the chest piece and the cloak i mean and they're gonna be really good uh you can use all of them it's gonna be really really cool helmet's gonna be super dope with it i think the boots are gonna be pretty cool and then i think the arms are like not the best but i can definitely use them and they definitely would look cool but i don't think it's the strongest piece for that and then from there you could probably end up using some of the interlay stuff for all the classes i'm not going to go through all of the individual ones but i will say the arms for the hunters and then the boots for the hunters are going to be really really good for the warlocks let me see real quick i think the arms and the chest piece are going to be really really good boots as well maybe the bond 
Titans, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't even have to look at it because I know it's just going to look terrible with the caveat of maybe the chess piece, maybe, but I don't, I don't like the interlay stuff for the Hunt Titans. I think it's really, really terrible. Um, other than that, maybe the Hardened Basilisk, maybe the helmet, it's going to be really cool for the Titans, for the Hunters. I wish it saved my spot and I'd have to go through this. Helmet's going to be really cool as well. Maybe the arms as well for the Warlocks. I think the helmet is going to be really cool. Yeah, the helmet's going to be really cool. Arms are going to be really cool. And other than that, this is too much cloth for a Vex themed. So this is how I'm going to be doing this just because it, this is going to be a lot faster. And it just kind of gets to the point because this video is mostly just to sh like give you awareness. The helmet for the Cunning of the Contender Hood is going to be really, really cool as well. Anything that has like... That's like basically an armor and then has glow is going to be really cool. I don't think any of the hunter stuff for that armor specifically is going to be really good. Nah, this is good. It'll be fine, but it won't be Vex themed. You're like your first thought would not be, oh, this is Vex. Nah, for me, it would not be that that first thought. Titans. Yeah, Titans, you guys don't have anything either, either for there. So the main thing here is going to be this armor set, the Kabir set for the Titans. For the hunters, it's gonna be the prime zealot stuff, and then for the warlocks, the hez the hezen suit. So let's start off with the hunters first. Helmet's gonna be the best piece and the only piece that is worth using for a vex theme. Maybe the chest piece, but me personally, I think the helmet's gonna be the best choice. Warlocks, the chest, the helmet, arms, chest piece, boots, literally almost anything of this is gonna be good for a vex themed. And then the Kabir stuff, we're gonna be using the boots, arms, chest piece, and the mark i don't think the boots are really really good for vex and then the other set's going to be the kentark 3 um for all the classes that being said i will you'll never catch me using this armor just because it's pretty terrible and what i mean by that is like it, it not only is a reskin from the first armor set that we saw but it also takes shaders absolutely terribly like one of the worst shadering i've ever seen the only pieces that are going to actually shader differently is going to be the actual armor because this gray shit is not going to change color. The glow is not going to change color. And that is really unfortunate because if if they allowed us to change the colors off of everything, then this probably would have been the best Vex themed. But it, because of because of that, unfortunately, I'm not going to really say you should use that armor. And that is really it for, for Vex themed. Aside from like specifically like, oh, this is specifically Vex themed because everything else is going to be like it's vex adjacent like i think the moonfang stuff is going to be really cool specifically the helmet the arms and then maybe the chest piece for the hunters warlocks i think the helmet and the arms are going to be the only things that are worth it and then titans i think all of it almost is going to be really cool with the boots being the one thing where i'm like this is definitely cool and it would be really cool for a vex themed uh set but I also think the arms are a close second. Helmet also is really, really cool. Um, I will say I have to give mentions to the fact that the channeling wraps for the Warlocks, I actually use for my actual class specific look for my Warlocks. So that is a thing, but that is really it. Like, I don't really have anything other, like any other thoughts about it. Obviously you can do some like some weird, really weird ones. Like you can use this if it has plate armor, I guess it could look cool. I don't think this helmet would be really cool for that, but at the same time, you might never know. Someone might do some dope shit with it. But this is mostly just to showcase like, oh, this would specifically be really cool. Like this helmet would be really cool. Um, these boots would be really cool. But then we get to, where are you? This one right here, the season of the undying sets pieces. So literally the substitutional alloy stuff, all the classes has some dope stuff. And these would definitely be really cool because this is literally the phenotype plasticity armor just uh, with grass and shit. So this is a set that you would definitely would want to pick up just because there are some pieces that actually change colors, specifically like, like the helmet for the hunters. This one's going to be really cool. The only thing that might annoy people is that there is no glow on it, which for me, I don't really care two shits about that. So it's going to be, yeah. So that actually, that actually looks pretty cool because uh, it kind of looks like the... Because the original phenotype plasticity has the two eyes in the front, which is literally the only change. But this looks really cool. Um, and again, like I said, that that one is the only one that changes the color. Because I think this one has moss as well. That doesn't change color. Yeah, that moss does not change color, which is very unfortunate. 
but for the hunters it's going to be the helmet warlocks i think it's the helmet as well the bond has has moss on it if i remember correctly and then for the titans it's the helmet as well so that's going to be it for that again like i said there's just so many things you can do like maybe let me see maybe you can do this one you can do a bunch of stuff but for me i'm just kind of specifically just showcasing the ones that i know are like oh this is obviously vex themed because i know another one that some people might tell me oh this is vex themed tony would be the uh world drop armor which is or the mercury armor I'm, i mean some people might say the kairos function stuff would be really cool uh vex themed st stuff i personally wouldn't aside from maybe this helmet this helmet would probably be really cool for a vex themed set but then we get to other pieces like again like i said i'm not gonna go through each armor set but like for the hunters i think there's this one right here that i think would be really cool for a vex themed set just because once you combine it with the shader that i currently have on for for my class look this looks really cool and kind of terrifying um but then that go just goes back to like you have to just go through each armor set and then see if it actually looks really cool because i also think this would be really cool for a vex themed set uh because it gives more like a power ranger vibe but at the same time i kind of fuck with that look like this does not look terrible in my eyes so yeah let me know what you guys think uh what armor sets do you guys do for vex themed i would love to know that in the comments below because we do have quite a bit of things you could choose from like realistically but it's one of those like i would kind of just choose the the ones that i'm like i know would look good not i don't know it's hard to explain but as for the example sets we'll just get into that so that way you guys can see for the example sets we have this one right here for the hunters i really like this set just because all of the pieces really mix mix together really really well and for the shadering omnicronia is one of my favorite shaders so for the helmet prime zealot masses we're using the phenotype plasticity grips and then for the chest piece and the cloak eternal vengeance vest with the eternal vengeance cloak as well so for the exotics we're actually going to be using the fish pants with the digital variants ornament i think this ornament is amazing cannot wait for this to come out and overall this is probably my favorite so far that being said the warlocks are literally my favorite it's my baby it's my magnus opus and i can't wait for you guys to see it as for the titans i'm gonna be real with you guys i had a lot of trouble with the titans just because they, you guys don't have a lot of good pieces for vex themes and honestly even using the kaiden ramparts i'm still kind of like i don't hate it but i definitely don't love it either for the helmet kabir's battle cage is what we're using phenotype plasticity for the chest piece and the mark and then forge machinist greaves for the boots for the shading mercury vex chrome all of these are going to be using different shaders that are vex themed this one being mercury vex chrome i really like this set at the same time i don't it's really weird it's probably because the arms are not like super like plated but at the same time i used it because it does have that cool like like shoulder pauldron which i was like that just looks so cool on this set that i wanted to combine it with it but there are other sets um that are like better there are better ex exotics that have vex themes pieces but and we'll, i'll show you at the end of the video so that way I, I don't leave you hanging from that but i will say the titans is probably the weakest one here as for the warlocks you guys have the best one uh, this one is super super dope like all of these pieces look like something out of a vex themed guardian so for the so for the helmet phenotype plasticity helmet with the phenotype plasticity bond for the arms channeling wraps for the chest piece curious of the hezen lords and then for the boots we're going to be using path of the convergence ornament for for the transversive steps so i really like this set for the shaders precursive x chrome with the nail biter shader for phenotype plasticity a because it gives me that white color for the plate armor but it also gives me that red glow because obviously the red glow is on the knees and the helmet so i wanted that red glow as well this one is my my best like my best vex themed i've ever made in this game with the hunter being a close second this one i just every time i make it and every time i like go back to this look i always just surprise myself because it is really that good to me so let me know what you guys think about the example sets let's go back into the game real quick so that way i can show you some exotic ornaments that you can use for your classes so hunters uh wormhust crown actually has one not my favorite to be quite honest but you can still use it and it will look really cool but other than that the other one will be for the boots that we were just talking about 
the star eater scales so this one is new this one's literally gonna come out um i don't i don't know what week it's gonna come out but i'm pretty sure they're selling this for bright dust this season but this one's gonna be really cool definitely pick this up and actually let me go back i don't know why it came out um the other i think that was it there i don't think there's any other i mean you can use the aeon swift for sure i feel like that one would be really cool i don't know if it is specifically uh vex themed or not but I definitely think you can definitely use it for that. It's going to look really cool too. But other than that, I don't think we have any other Vex themed set. Let me know in the comments below if you guys, if I miss one, because I don't think we have any other one. I mean, I, you could probably use the Omni Oculus, which would be interesting, but that's pretty much it for that. Titans, you do have one. I'm not the biggest fan of it personally. <laughs> yeah, it's just not terrible. Like it's terrible. Like that movie real with you guys, it's terrible. So unfortunately, it has that like rock cracked look from uh, Garden of Salvation, which I'm not the biggest fan of because it does not change color. That whole like plate does not change color, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, yeah, it straight up just looks like doo doo butter, bro. And uh, you can definitely try to fight me on that, but I'm not wrong. And I think that's it for Vex theme pieces for the Titans. Uh, again, if, you, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of drawing blanks right now. And the reason I use I use kind of ramparts is just because uh, this right here. I thought that would be really cool for a Vex theme, and the uh, the like spikes on the on the arms as well. I thought that was really cool. So that's really it. Nothing too crazy. Um, you could probably use Ashen Wake. That would be pretty interesting. And then again, all of the Aeons would be really cool for a, a Vex look. But I'm pretty sure that's it. I guess Capri, uh, Kepri's horn with its ornament, you can definitely try to do that just because it'll look more like a fucking scarab or like a, like a metallic scarab, which is techno scarab, but you can do that. Warlocks, I think you guys have quite a few of them. So f to start off, we'll go for the easy one, transversive steps. That's the one we just did. This one right here. One of my favorites, super cool. Definitely do a set with this because again, it's really cool. But the other one is actually going to be Mantle. Uh, is it Mantle? No, I think that one has the alien one, right? Well, I can't look at it anyways. Uh, is it Chromatic Fire? It's Chromatic Fire. Yeah. yeah, it's Chromatic Fire. Chromatic Fire has the other one, which I think looks really cool. Just be aware, don't waste a Vex themed on the boot because you will never see it. So I would just go, go harder with the boot and the helmet, the bond as well. Um, I think that's it. No, I think they had one more. I just can never remember. It's not Ophidian. It definitely is not Ophidian because Ophidian has the cowboy, the snakes. Oh, well, you can use this, I guess. It wouldn't be good, though. I don't think it would look cool, but you can definitely use it. Oh, that does look really cool. Um, I guess Controverse Hold you can definitely use as well. But anything that looks electrical or mechanical, I think would be really cool. Yeah, I think that's it. Let me know again. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing one. But I don't think I'm missing. I don't think I am missing one. Because it was this one and then chromatic. And then I think that's it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I in the next video, I will have like the armor sets actually available. It's just this one I wanted to do a little bit faster because if I put all of the armors like rotating like how I usually do it, then it's going to take a lot longer because I have to take I have to actually get the footage. I have to like edit it in there and then it's just a lot of work. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.